Aloha and welcome to this screencast in which I want to provide an introduction to the system requirements for the Kukui Cup to help in the design process. The fundamental goal of this application is to create sustained positive change in energy behaviors and our target demographic is university dorm residents. Okay, So the first thing I want to do is explain why this is an interesting thing to try to do. There's been a lot of prior work on dorm energy competitions and a lot of dorm energy competitions have been done in the past and almost all of them show some amount of energy reduction. So it would seem that you know it, there doesn't really need to be anything done on it. The problem is that very little research shows what happens after the competition is over, okay? And so if the energy reduction is only temporary, if it's not sustained, then these competitions, at least in our opinion, aren't really accomplishing much, okay? They're just getting a temporary reduction and then people go back to their former behaviors. What we'd really like is a sustained change. So we have a hypothesis that we want to test. It's just a hypothesis, it's not a fact at this point. Okay, what we want to do is see if, if we motivate students to practice behaviors that reduce their energy usage and then at the same time expose them to activities and events and, and situations that improve their understanding of energy and improve their understanding of why energy reduction is important, then we're hoping that that combination of things will lead to a sustained reduction in energy usage that will occur even beyond the, the context of a competition where they would get prizes and there's other incentives for doing the reduction. So let's see, you know, kind of in a nutshell or at a high level, how do we actually test this hypothesis? What is the research going to do? Okay. So think of there basically being two things that we want to measure. One is literacy or energy literacy or how much they understand about energy. And the other is their actual energy usage. And we're going to look at this during three periods. One is a period of time before the Kukui Cup competition occurs, during the competition itself, and then after the competition is over. So before the competition, we want to measure um, in some sense what the energy literacy of the students are and we'll have some survey kind of mechanism that we're working out and I'm showing you a kind of a a line, a, a aquamarine line and of course different students will have different levels of literacy but just just for the purpose of understanding the basic design just assume that there's some value of literacy that we come up average literacy or something. Similarly we can measure the amount of energy they're consuming in the dorms um, prior to the competition. That's kind of like a baseline. Then we actually do the competition itself. Okay. Now, most competitions result in reduced energy, so I'm showing the energy usage line going down during October to indicate that hopefully we will get that same result that most everybody gets. It's not a given, but hopefully we'll, we'll get the standard response, which is we can incentivize students through prizes and so forth to reduce their energy consumption. What happens with respect to their literacy during this time period, we really don't know. We're going to have them engage in activities, but we won't necessarily be assessing their literacy during October. Okay, now let's look at November, December. The competition is over, and I'm going to show you a variety of situations. Here's the first situation, which is like the best case scenario. Best case scenario is that literacy in November, December is actually higher than it was in August and September. So we, so we, they have learned something. We do some kinds of questionnaires in November, December to assess their literacy. They score better than they did in August, September. So literacy went up. The second thing you'll see is in this energy use chart that the energy use stayed low. It didn't go back up to the way it was before the competition. Okay, showing, you know, kind of showing our that that our hypothesis has experimental support we've increased the literacy the the um, energy usage was sustained the energy reductions were sustained after the competition that's all good now this is a correlation it's not causal we don't know for sure that this increase in literacy actually resulted in the sustained change but we have evidence that those two are related and then we can do further research to try to tease out that causality okay but that's our basic experimental design now there's other things that could happen of course we could see that literacy was greater after the competition, but that the energy popped up a little bit after the competition, but still was lower than 
uh, before the competition. So that would still be kind of victory in, in our sense. And this is probably the most likely scenario. On the other hand, we could see that literacy uh, is improved after the competition, but the energy usage goes right back up to its previous level or even higher. Okay, and that's not supportive of our hypothesis. And then kind of the worst case scenario is for some reason students didn't learn anything by doing the competition. So literacy is the same and their energy usage went you know, up to the pre-competition levels. Um, let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay. But the point being is this is an experiment. We really don't know what the post-competition scenario will be. And, um, and we're designing a system to try to ensure as much as we can that we get the sustained change. So we want to do two things in this system. We want to empower students with the ability, to the understanding of how it would be that they would reduce their energy consumption. And then secondly, provide educational content that they are going to voluntarily want to uh, you know, interact with and, and learn from that improves their understanding of energy issues. From a more kind of high level user experience side, we want all these typical user experience qualities of fun, engagement, easy to understand. That's a big one for our particular system. That it's sticky once you're there, you kind of want to spend a little time there and that you want to come back to it frequently. So how do we achieve these fundamental goals? Okay, with respect to um, understanding and reducing their energy consumption, there's a page called the Go Low page, which is our attempt to provide the, inf the information and tools that they need. So it'll provide feedback on what their current energy usage is and links and, so and ways for them to learn more about how they could lower it. We also provide um, a competition uh, between the various dorms and, and lounges within the dorms uh, with prizes that motivates them to actually try to do it. And with respect to educational content, we have another page called Get Nuts, and that's supposed to focus on education, or that provides access to educational resources. And then we have a parallel competition focused on doing as many of these educational activities as possible, again, with their own set of prizes, so that we provide some, in, some motivation within the competition for people to actually go through these educational activities. So there's two competitions, one, respect, one with respect to lowering energy usage and one with respect to learning about energy. Okay, so um, the question then is, you know, how does the current design reflect these goals? Because, of course, that's what we were trying to do as we, as we generated these set of mock-ups, is try to figure out a way to incorporate those design goals into a system. Um, and definitely our results are mixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in the next set of pages various, um, uh, the next set of slides, various pages from the mock-up version of the system and what we were attempting to do when we um, designed that page. You know, why are those particular elements on it? Then following that, I'm going to tell you about some of the stuff we learned when we did user testing about the problems that exist in the design of these mock-ups. So the first page is called the landing page, and the motivation for that is that people visiting the site are going to either be people that are actually residents of the dorm and can do things, or they might just be visitors from elsewhere in the university or you know anywhere else. And we want to kind of make sure that those people um, can get information that, that's appropriate for them, whereas the dorm residents can actually go in and do the actual competition. So this is what the, the landing page looks like um, right now. And the basic idea is just that there's two buttons on this page, which should um, people should understand that they're buttons, and they click on the appropriate one for them, and then they go off to wherever they're going to go. I'm not going to ever talk about the, the, um, what the page looks like for people who aren't in the dorms, because we haven't even thought about that yet, actually. Um, and I'm not too worried about it, because those people aren't even part of the research. So we'll hack something together at some point for them. Um, and uh, but from now, but for the rest of this talk, um, we're going to just focus on the aspects of the site uh, that people would see when they are residents within the dorm. So the first time they go to the site and they're a resident in the dorm, we we have this thing called the first login sequence, which is intended to help them understand a little bit about the site, set up some profile information, and um, hopefully get through all of that in very in just you know 10 minutes or less. 
Um, and we have a kind of a wizard-like sequential set of modal dialogues which they're kind of forced to go through. So this is what the first login wizard looks like that just um, confirms after they go in the, through the UH login service that we know who they are and they're the, the person we think they are. Then there's a terms and conditions page. Um, there's the ability to connect to Facebook so that we can post certain things to their log. There's a um, the ability to kind of set up their profile page, get a <coughs> use a different picture than their profile picture in Facebook and so forth. Um, there's a little introductory video that they can watch that gives them an initial set of um, initial kind of two minute understanding of the, of the site and its purpose. Then we have them answer a question to make sure that they actually watch the video and to give them the experience of watching a video and then answering a question um, correctly which earns them a certain number of points because that's kind of one of the fundamental you know kind of workflows in the system. Then they're done on this page um, and then they go to the home page. Okay? That first login page they only see the first time they're in the system um, and then afterwards, they're always just going to go directly to the home page. And it's supposed to provide kind of a launching pad for, you know, all the various services in the system as well as providing them with kind of instant access to the st their state with respect to the two fundamental competitions in the system, which is the energy competition and the points competition. Okay. We also, in this mock-up, made the most important sub-pages of the home page, the Golo page and the Get Nuts page, which are the pages associated with those two competitions, a little bit bigger inside to emphasize their greater value. So this is what the, the home page looks like. The Golo page, one of the two primary pages, is supposed to provide access uh, provide this user with access to energy data so they understand what their lounge is using both in terms of power and, and uh, energy and then we want to also go beyond that to say well are those values good values or bad values okay are they high or are they low and um, in addition we have students set up in a particular lounge a lounge is kinda like a floor um, we have them um, uh, set up or, or vote on a goal for reduction and so we want uh, to be provide feedback to them on this page as to whether or not you know if they indicated they wanted a five percent reduction for the given this week whether or not they're making their goal or not then finally um, we want to provide access on this page to things they can do to actually make changes in their energy reduction. So if they want to improve their ener energy reduction or reduce their energy, how would they actually go about doing it? We want to provide some ability in this page for them to figure out how to do it. Um, so this is the page and then I, I, I forgot one motivation was that one way to um, reduce your energy uh, consumption on the, your floor that you live on is actually to communicate with other people on your floor and and suggest ideas and so forth. So you can see here how you know we show the the current lounge power, we show um, whether or not they're making the goal, things they can do if they want to conserve energy more, and then ways to communicate with others. The other primary page, the Get Nuts page, is to provide access to these educational tools. Um, and that consists of, and there's three basic kinds, events, activities, and commitments. And then we also wanted to provide some organization in, in terms of the way that they access these events, activities, and commitments. We don't want to just give them a list of 150 different events, activities, and commitments. That would be, you know, kind of overwhelming. So we want to give them a kind of a staged access. And we also want that to kind of, and there's two reasons for that. One is so that that we can introduce them to kind of basic energy concepts early on and then the later activities can assume they know those things and then secondly we want to make this part of the system more somewhat game-like and and have kind of a leveling nature so that until they finish these kind of basic stuff they don't get access to these higher levels but those higher levels get quote unquote unlocked once they've completed a certain number of activities in the lower levels so this is what this page looks like and you can see we have these uh, one category introduction that's unlocked right now and all the other categories are locked because the person hasn't done enough stuff in the introductory ca category to unlock these higher level categories. So in this introductory category or uh, getting started same thing um, you can see once you clicked on that you would go into this sub page which provides specific activities one of them is a commitment 
Um, so this is uh, the page that you'd see where you could sign up to, um, to proclaim that you're going to wear a button every day for five days. Here's a page that advertises a particular event, which you can attend and get again get points for this, just like you get points for commitments. And then there's an activity um, page where it, where you can learn how to put your computer to sleep, um, and if you do so, you get points for that. We have developed a complete pedagogy, so every little colored box in here represents either an event, activity, or commitment. Um, that you can that you can do so you can see there's a whole bunch of them that um, that we've developed so far and they're organized into these um, these basic categories. The next page is the prizes page. The idea here is that we want to provide some motivation for students to get engaged in this um, for kind of mercenary reasons at first. They want to win a prize, okay? And hopefully the idea of this is that if they learn about energy along the way, that they'll still want to keep reducing energy afterwards, not because they're going to win a prize, but because it's the right thing to do. But until they get to that kind of evolved level of consciousness, we want to, you know, kind of appeal their baser emotions by um, giving them prizes. So there's two kinds of prizes. There's two ways that they can win, get prizes. One is by actually winning, being the number one student or the number one lounge with respect to points or energy reduction. The second way they could win is by participating in this raffle thing where the more points you earn, the more raffle tickets you get and you can put a raffle ticket into a, you know, in a, a kind of a virtual bowl for a particular prize and then you might win it. And that provides a way for people who aren't going to be the top point getter, you know, they know they won't, but they'll still be motivated to do some, you know, participate in the competition and earn points and so forth because that'll get them raffle tickets and then they might win a great prize that way. So this is what this page looks like. On the left-hand side, you can see a description of, you know, uh, the, the prizes that can be won by the, apps, the number one, you know, person in a given category. On the other side, there's this raffle game. The news page is kind of a standard communications channel. You can see that here. So we've got a news feed that looks like a wall in Facebook and in fact has some um, you know, interaction back and forth with that. On the left-hand side, there's information about things that are popular people are doing within the competition. The profile page um, provides what you might expect from profile page, the ability to change your settings. Um, also enables you to understand more about the status of your activities and whether they've been verified whether points have been awarded because you've answered the question correctly about an activity and also we have this concept of badges that you can earn by doing various things and this page will provide access to that as well. So here's what the profile page looks like um, and then finally we have the learn page and uh, we figured you know probably they're gonna have questions probably we need a way for them to learn more about the Kukui cup itself as opposed to learning about energy or learning about you know the, the stuff within the that part so this is kind of like a meta level learning um, and this is what this page looks like okay so um, that's that okay now there's basically three things we learned a lot of things from user testing and in fact you can go on the Kukui cup website and and we can show you the complete, you know, huge dump of the things that people said, and that might be of use to you. But I want to summarize the, the, the three essential things that we got out of this that are problematic in the current design of the system. The first is that when you just look at those pages, you don't really necessarily understand what it is they do. You don't understand necessarily why you're there or what you should be doing. So we need some way to provide contextual help or just-in-time explanation of system facilities. In the current mock-up design, the way we've been doing that is the first time you go to a page, we have some uh, like a modal dialog box that pops up over the page and tells you about what that page is. The problem with that is that you're getting information about the page before you know you need it. Okay, so there's this, you know, this common thing where users would kind of read it but not really understand it or forget it seemingly instantly once they got to the page. Okay, so we're not sure that that's really good, but then again if you get to the page and you don't know what you're looking at and you have questions, how is it that you can easily get access to explanatory material? Okay, so we're, we're experimenting with ideas on how to do that, but we're open to, to additional thoughts on how that can be done. The second problem was with the Golo page, which is the page that provides 
energy information. And as you can see from looking at that page, it's pretty darn complicated. There's a lot of things going on at once. All of the components of that page, we think, are motivated you know, and are necessary in order to kind of know what your current state is, know how to make a change, know whether you're doing good or bad. You know, All of those things we need to have accomplished, but maybe this page is, is too complicated or there could be a simpler way to do it. Um, we're not sure that we want to split this out into multiple pages because that introduces its own level of complexity, additional complexity. So, you know, the problem here is we th we're pretty sure we need to somehow make the presentation of the GoLo page better. Not quite sure how to do it. Final problem is with the Get Nuts page. Um, as you can see, the most important pages are the problems we, the ones we have problems with. That's unfortunate, but just the way it is right now. Again, this Get Nuts page is hard for people to understand when they first come to it. It's not easy to kind of interpret these category buttons the way they're currently structured. And we're failing, I think, at present to make it clear about how it, why something would be locked and what you'd need to do to unlock it and how that's really akin to levels and games and, and so forth. So I think that the concept of having only certain categories available initially and then getting things unlocked as you move on is really cool. And that's what many games do successfully, but we're not somehow implementing it appropriately in this particular site at the current time. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, let me know if you have any questions.